notice spiders, ants, and centipedes, and whatever else Damn. crawling around. After he hands you your food, you can see the guilt on his face. Then he runs behind a wall where he doesn't come out afterwards. A funny joke. Don't come here. Oh my god. What the no. hell? Okay, no this, this way. Is Have you ever wanted to try the worst pizza in your city? I haven't either, but that's exactly what we're gonna to do today. Hey everybody, Joel Hansen, we're here with my good friend, Miss Stacy, and today we are trying the worst pizza in this city. More specifically, Stacy City, which is Burlington, Ontario. <laughs> so eventually we found a pizza place, which is like absolutely horrible sounding. So we, of course we went to Yelp, Always going with the Yelp reviews if you're ever in doubt. And uh, let's just say these sound a little interesting. So from somebody named Brooks B. Says, dry cold pizzas. Paid $50 and it was over an hour to arrive. Never again, lesson learned. Okay, so okay. like, that sounds like... So it sounds like a delivery. Yeah, like that, that's a good delivery issue. That's not too bad. It's from Jess P. Was given hard big chunks of bread on a Caesar salad. Had no forks either. This place is completely destroyed, no renovation, and it's fairly new. I expected it to be good as the menu has good options and selection. When you walk in, it is the first red flag. He takes a long time to make the food, and she says she, she ordered a salad and a poutine. Long enough that you notice spiders, ants, and centipedes, and whatever else Damn. crawling around. After he hands you your food, you can see the guilt on his face. Then he runs behind a wall where he doesn't come out afterwards. A funny joke. Don't come here. Oh my god. What the no. hell? Okay, no this, way. this is getting worse. No. Okay. Spider ants and centipedes. Okay. <laughs> so this is pretty interesting. We're, uh, all right, let's see what's going on. It's all raining, so I hope we can't hear the rain too much. But this is reviewed by Larry B. Quite possibly the worst pizza and wings in Burlington. Should have known when a pizza joint offers shawarma sauce and butter chicken as topping choices. <laughs> Thin crust ordered was thick, doughy, and undercooked. Don't get me going about the wings, other than wife and I had one each and tossed the remaining 18. 18. Holy jumpet. Our man on her phone said that ordering 20 was the best way to go. F and for who? <laughs> Don't be fooled by the pictures of the wings in the recent mailing that was being distributed locally. I never thought I would say this, but even Little Caesars and Domino's are better than this crap. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Okay, this actually really sounds horrible. Uh, All right. Um, uh, next one, here we go. Okay, so this is from Jeff S. Avoid at all costs. Website says 30 to 40, 45 minutes wait. Had to call three times to inquire about where my order was. Finally, after an hour, the pizza showed up cold. <laughs> I sent it away and the owner called to argue with me and then learn Jeff how says, to learn how to run a business. I wouldn't worry about ordering from this place. It will be our business within a year. Jeez, well, well I guess... That's seven months ago. It's still oh, standing. It's, it's still within a, a year, so we'll see what happens in the next five months there, Mr. Jeff. Uh, here we go. This is from Cindy W. This is my first and only time ordering. I was told my food would be delivered in 30 to 45 minutes. I called back at 55 minutes. They had not even left the store. I was then told they would be delivered immediately. 20 minutes later, I called back to cancel the order. The delivery guy then arrived while I was on the phone. I live a five minute drive from the Burlington location. As if the service wasn't bad enough, the food was terrible. The pizza crusts were tough and chewy. The wings were over or undersauced and seemed days old. That's a bad sign. <laughs> the small pizza was really a large personal sized pizza. Okay. I've never seen a small so small. I would order from anywhere else before ordering here again. It looks like wings and pizza are bad. Eh? Yeah, wings and pizza. And the delivery. Yeah, and delivery. So we actually just saw a delivery guy drive in and pull off. So, uh, but anyway, let's go in. Let's order some food. Um, there's actually one positive review, oh. and the person doesn't have a picture. They don't have any like history, and I think it's a fake review because look at this. It's like tasty pizza. This was my third order, <laughs> and I will be back for more. <laughs> Friendly staff who are happy to take my request, and they get it right. Tried the shawarma pizza, and it was amazing. I don't like too spicy, and they toned it done for me. <laughs> Delish. I think Kelly's a fake, but anyway, let's go head on in. Let's get some food. 
and let's officially eat at the worst pizza restaurant in the city. <laughs> we'll do uh, two, two of the slices. Mm -hmm. um, what, what's this one here? It's a Canadian pepperoni mushroom bacon. I'll do one of those. And the Domino's is Hawaiian, pineapple ham bacon. Okay. Do you want pepperoni, a Hawaiian, or uh, that one? Pepperoni? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, so just one of the, that one and one of that one. That'd be great. Uh, okay, one pepperoni one bacon. Yes, please. All right, so we got our pizza. We definitely forgot napkins. Um, so I'm not gonna lie though, like very positive start. We got it to go. Yeah. And the guy was like, is this your first time here? We're like, yeah. And he's like, each take a, like a free can of pop, like soda yeah. pop. And how much was it? It was. For the two slices, so that's just one. Yeah, for one other slice, for that and this, they had a special on. This only cost me $4 oh, whole... and 80 cents. Yeah, so less... I was surprised. I thought you were paying for one, so. Yeah, but less than five bucks. And he gave us a drink, which is very, very, very nice of him. And, and it's a good I size. I mean, like, it's yeah, good it's size. a good size. And I mean, again, like, like it looks pretty good. Like, I don't know how you can generally yeah. go wrong. I mean, with the pizza. crust is brown. Yeah, it looks cooked. It looks cooked. Um, it's not very greasy, but greasy enough that um, yeah, it's a little it's greasy. Tasty. It's like through the bag, so we'll try it. So what? What are the reviews to talk about? Was it cardboard? It was. <laughs> no, it was um, crust. It was very hard. Hard crunchy. crust. Hard yeah. crunchy crust. Yeah. I think it mentioned something about cardboard, cardboard. and cold. He he he's, well, he tried to heat this up, but it wasn't. It's. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It's not that hot right no, now. No, but, but the cold one was the delivery. Delivery. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's just like a delivery issue. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, let's uh, bust into this pizza and yeah. see what it tastes like. So just in comparison, how big this slice is. Like really, I mean, the pizza looks good. It smells like pizza. Like, mm -hmm. how else do you describe it besides? It smells this, cheesy. Yeah, it smells like cheese, like pizza. Mm-hmm. All right. Well. Should we Guess we'll give it a go. So, yeah, let's just right. try this smaller one. First. Yeah, you kind of like, kind of cut it into two. So, are oh, you gonna do that? Oh, <laughs> it no, fell apart. Okay, let's see. Let's try this. I mean, it's pretty firm, pretty rigid. Mm. And try. Hmm, it tastes like pizza. Um, kind of like, uh, mm. I don't know how to put it. It tastes a little... What is that? Like, I, I, yeah, I'm wondering if it's not actually cooked, like the top. Yeah. Actually, no, it's not. It's not, yeah. yeah. It's definitely not cooked. I don't know if you can see that, but like, there's a jelly layer on top. I think you can see it better on this one. Crusty. Gotta show the side. Can you see it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Look this is... Yeah. Pretty cooked, but not this one. Yeah, there's like the cooked layer on the bottom, and then and the, the that, jelly that layer. yeah that long translucent jelly layer that's not cooked. Hmm, interesting. I mean, you can see it kind of there too. Okay, so the pe the slice is not cooked. Oh yeah, there you go, right there. See that bottom row, and then there's like that translucent layer. Okay, so it's not. I wonder if it's just grease that sucks through. Nah, it's not. There's no way that's cooked. Oh, it's not cooked. I mean, like, yeah, it's not cooked. I would eat it on a drunk night. Yeah, on a drunk night. Okay, we got some, like, interesting tasting cheese there. This pepperoni looks kind of dry, but, like, it's kind of like with the sauce and whatever it looks like. I mean, let's be honest. We did get the slices, which have been in, like, the warming thing for a while. Mm -hmm. I would say the dough is a little, the crust is a little too thick. No, so the whole thing is crust. Yeah. No cheese. Yeah, there's not really much of a cheese or sauce, but like, I mean, it's not bad. It's not horrible. Mm -mm. Like for a one and a half star review, I was expecting maybe a little worse. Mm -hmm. mm. I mean, it's definitely not great. It's mild. It's very mild and kind of flavorless. That's why I put it. <clears throat> I'm gonna try a bite of the crust. Maybe like it's kind of stale, but I mean, it's because it's from the warmer, right? Yeah. Well. I wouldn't give it one and a half star. No, it's better than one and a half mm. star. That's like a three out of ten. 
It's not quite that. It's not. It's not that bad. Personally, I think it's too doughy. I would rather the crust to be a little thinner mm. and more cheese and sauce. Yeah. Well, like, I think why it's so doughy. Lots of pepperoni, though. To be fair. Yeah. Actually, that looks pretty good. I think it was why it's so doughy, though, is because it's like uncooked. It's not really cooked yeah. that well. I don't know if like maybe they purposely undercooked it yeah. to like because it was gonna go in the warmer mm -hmm. and they're gonna try to warm it or something. But it. you can really see it on this one too. Like, like there's the bottom layer, then there's a whole layer of under like uncooked dough. I don't know. Like, it's not horrible. That's basically how I put it. I'm not very picky, but that's why we have Stacy because Stacy's the real whiz here. <laughs> she knows what's going on. I. I don't want to finish this piece to be honest. It's just very, just dough. Like a, a five? Six, yeah, five, six. Five, yeah. six out of ten. Mm -hmm. Five, six out of ten. It's not bad. We got the footage from like the in the restaurant looked clean though, and I mean the staff were really nice. That like, was really nice. He really gave fast. us yeah, he gave us soda pop. Like, mm -hmm. That was pretty cool. Yeah, speaking of that, it's probably because he saw the camera to be honest. <laughs> Did you, did you really? Oh, Hiding it the best I could, funny. but like, he, I'm sure he saw it. But uh, I mean, I, I'm sure this, the pop will taste good. Yeah. The Diet Pepsi is like Diet Pepsi, so that's a good sign. <laughs> well, anyway, so I guess we officially tried Burlington's worst pizza. Like, it wasn't that bad though. It wasn't. Yeah, it like, wasn't. Yours, actually, I think yours looks worse than mine did. I think your Stacy's looks even like older and drier. You might not be able to see from <laughs> this Stacey. angle. Stacy's pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Stacy's pizza. But yours is pretty. Don't we look at how thick your crust is? Look at that yeah. compared to mine. Yeah. Like again, like oh, well, wow. it's just. I mean that that's kind of a preference thing, I guess. But I think the biggest thing that's getting it's just kind of a little undercooked. But I mean, besides that, it's okay. I uh, I mean, we paid again four dollars and eighty cents for two slices. Mm -hmm. So for less than five bucks for two slices, I think that's worth it. That's worth it. Yeah, like five bucks for honestly a very large slice. Mm -hmm. I would uh, say one and a half times bigger. Yeah, yeah, like it's at least one and a half of a normal slice. Now, if I was paying ten bucks for this, like five dollars each, I'd be a little bit more. I'd be like, meh. No. It's okay, mm -hmm. but. But that was a good deal. That's a good he deal. said it was a special, right? Yeah, so it's a special they said they had on. They had a whole bunch of other specials going on too. Mm -hmm. um, they said it was part of their like grand opening sale, which, according which is... to all the reviews, was like maybe like eight nine months ago, mm -hmm. maybe even ten months ago. Yeah, ten so, months ago. The first one was ten months ago, so it can be a, a grand opening sale. Yeah, so they've extended the grand opening mm -hmm. sale a bit, but I mean it wasn't bad. I'll give it a, I don't know, like it's a solid 5 out of 10. Mm. It's not worth, uh, it's not, it, it's better than a 1.5, I think. So. For sure, I agree. I hope you enjoyed it. It was, you know, an interesting experience for both of us. But um, it wasn't that bad. Mm. What do you think? I agree with you. I agree. So everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. A little bit of an interesting endeavor. Maybe we'll do it again. Let us know down below if you like this. And until next time, stay happy, healthy, hungry and happy eating. Myself. You can see yourself. Yeah, look at the lens. Okay. Okay. Hey everybody, Joel Hansen here, here with my good friend Stacy. <laughs> and today we're checking out Smoky Hollows, which is like uh -huh. a waterfall, Smoky Hollow waterfall. Um, so later on, we're going to be eating some horrible food. So we got to like work up an appetite. So <laughs> let's go have some fun, show you some sights. It is fall. There's lots of like beautiful colored leaves and stuff around, and it's cold. It is for me. For everybody. <laughs> So it's a little bit of a, a trick to get towards the falls. You gotta do some hopping and skipping and not fall in the water. Super slippery.
This is called trying not to fall. Don't, uh, you better be careful. I don't want to have to go in and get you. Hey, good job, you did it. It's like, the funny thing is it shows how big the waterfall is compared to you. It's not that bad. Not that bad? What? You're gonna climb it? You're crazy. Honestly, in the summertime, well, I want to go behind it in the summertime. See if there's like a ledge? That's what I'm going to do. That's what I did uh, at Tiffany Falls. I'd always go. Moose trail. You can hike? Yeah, there's paths for like, forever. Oh, I want to hike. <laughs> Just leaves everywhere. This is a huge rock. The Disney's. Yeah. Yes. They are big actually. That's what you call a leaf. Mm -hmm. But just maple tree has that. Just maple and no tree. No other trees has juice like maple tree. Well, not maple syrup. So here we are, and the question arose. First, how do you tell if a tree is a maple tree? And the key is to see if it has maple leaves on it. So this tree does. There's barely any left, but maple tree, right? Maple leaf. And then the question was, how do you get the maple syrup? I still don't believe it. You don't believe it? I don't believe it. So you just gotta like tap it. You put like a spike that's an open spike like a hose. You put it in. And then just like a wound on yourself weeps. The tree will weep, which is it's like maple syrup matter. And it'll drip down into a bucket, which you collect it. But what's the function of the maple syrup for the tree? To be tasty. See like, who? Who did that the first time around? I have no <laughs> clue. But obviously somebody at some point was drank, really desperate. Yeah, drank the tree juice and figured <laughs> off if we boil it after we collect it, it turns into a sweet syrup. I don't know. You don't I'm know. Very skeptical. That's where maple syrup comes from. I get. I I know. Ask I Google. Know. <laughs> I have to like do it myself too. Okay. Well, tune in next time to Stacy taps a tree and gets maple syrup. <laughs>